So with confidence intervals, we're getting a range of estimates for an unknown parameter, and we compute it at a designated confidence level, like 95% confidence. That's probably the most common, but you could also have 90, 98, 99, there's others as well. And remember, we have a sample taken from the population, and we're estimating a population parameter. And we talked about two estimate types. One is a point estimate, like a single value, like 85 kilograms. And then we also talked about an interval estimate, like a confidence interval, where we have a range of values between 78 and 92 kilograms might be an example. And so we could say that our interval estimate is 14 plus or minus two, so 12 to 16 is the interval. And factors that affect the width of our interval include the confidence level. Is it, for example, 90, 95, or 99%? Also the sample size, 30, 50, or 100, and also the variability. So the confidence level, the sample size, and the variability affect the width. So to talk about this a little bit more, assuming all else is being equal, our confidence level, if we increase it, maybe from 90 to 95, we'll see the width of our interval go up as well. Okay, so if we want more confidence, we're gonna have a wider interval. And if we decrease our confidence level, maybe from like 95 to 90, we're gonna have a narrower interval. Also, if we increase our sample size, which is gonna boost our confidence, the width of our interval is gonna go down. It's gonna get narrower. So we increase the sample size, our interval gets narrower. If we decrease the sample size, it's gonna get wider. We're gonna have less confidence. Also, if our variability goes up, then the width of the interval is gonna widen as well. Okay, if the variability goes down, that interval is gonna get narrower. All right, so here is the calculation we're gonna use for our confidence interval. We're gonna say our sample mean plus or minus our confidence level value, and then we're gonna multiply that by our sample standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size or our standard error. And so also when it comes to our Z values, we're gonna base this on our confidence interval, our confidence level. So in our first example, we're gonna try 95%, and we're gonna use as Z 1.960. So here's a scenario. Let's say you grow thousands of oranges, and you grab 50 randomly and measure the diameter. And so N, your sample size is gonna be 50. Maybe your sample mean is 2.58 inches and your sample standard deviation is 0.17 inches. And so we go back to our calculation and we're gonna put in our sample mean 2.58 as well as our sample standard deviation 0.17 divided by the square root of our sample size. And then all that we've got to do to add to this is our Z value, which is 1.96 in this case, if we're talking about a 95% confidence level. So the result is going to be 2.58, it's our sample mean, plus or minus 0 0.0471. So this gives us the width of the interval. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click to subscribe. And if you want a free stats cheat sheet, you can find one over at CodyBaldwin.com.